I'm Alex Lauren with UCLABruins.com, coming to you from inside the brand new Speaker Aquatic Center, which was just open to the public today. The afternoon started with a ribbon cutting ceremony dedicating the new facility and ended with a Bruin victory over UCI for the men's water polo team. This is only the second time since 1932 that UCLA gets the opportunity to open up or unveil an aquatics facility on this campus. And since it may be a while until the next one is built, we wanted to make certain that we built one that is the very best. Certainly one commensurate with the excellence of our swimming, diving, and water polo programs. You know, it provides us a place where we can hang those banners. You know, 16 NC2A championships, hundreds of All-Americans, Players of the Year, Olympians. You know, now it, it can be recognized. So everyone that steps in this building, every time, whether it's for a practice or a competition, other teams, they're going to be able to see that. On behalf of all of the student athletes on Women's Swim and Dive and Men's Water Polo and Women's water polo, I'd just like to say how thrilled and excited we all are to finally have Speaker Aquatic Center right here in front of us. As student athletes here at UCLA, we're taught to dream big, and this is better than anything we could have dreamed. I know our divers especially are really thankful to have the new facility. As some of you may not know, this is the first time we've had a 10 meter platform here right on campus so our divers no longer have to drive Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays out to the Rose Bowl. This is a fabulous facility to compete in. I remember the first time I saw those blocks over there, you know, bright green blue with the UCLA logo on the middle, I got goosebumps because it's amazing to dive off them and race. This is the UCLA home pool. This is our pool. future dream. I want this to become the collegiate aquatics capital of the country. That everybody should want to go to UCLA and feel privileged to go to UCLA. So Todd and Kathy and Dan, if you would please do the honors. <laughs> In the match, the second-ranked Bruins registered a 10-4 victory against number 7 UC Irvine before a capacity crowd in a non-conference match on Saturday evening. UCLA received a pair of goals from senior Scott Davidson, sophomore Colin Hennessy, and freshman Joshua Samuels. The game, the other day, is, you know, this is our home. You know, this is now athletics home for us. Women's water polo, swimming, diving. It's nice to have a place you know, at the end of the day, I think this is a huge advantage for that place here. Uh, hopefully we have an atmosphere like this we'll always, you know, that in the past it hasn't been that way because it hasn't been a facility like this. It's a huge difference. I mean, look at the pool. It's just, it's, it's a massive facility. I mean, you have this giant stands and this giant diving board and um, the crowd is amazing. You know, under the lights, it's just spectacular and we got a great crowd out there today. And, um, it really takes you into the stadium environment, you know, where Sunset was more just kind of level and you're right there in the pool. But this is like, you got stands up there and you're looking up to everyone, so it was pretty cool seeing it. When we have games up at Sunset Canyon at 1 in the afternoon on a Saturday, you know, we made me feel all four of the small bleachers and it was a packed house tonight, which was always fun to play with. Play under the lights, I mean, yeah, like Swanee said, I mean, it's, you know, as a water polo player, you don't really get to experience, you know, a, a crowd or a, an atmosphere all that much. So, I, mean, I don't know, Joel. Yeah, cool. awesome. I think it's phenomenal to now have a facility this great that can match all the top programs in the country for our women's swimming and diving team as well as both water polo teams. It's just a great to have this. And for recruits, they got the best place in the country to be, and it's great to have a standing room only crowd for the first event. So, as you can see, it was a great day here at the new Speaker Aquatic Center. For more information on the men's water polo team, please check out uclabruins.com.